Welcome back to another edition of Tailgate Talk here at SunJournal.com. Coming from you from coming at you from Glennis Thompson Field here at Lisbon High School. The Greyhound here on the snack shack behind us. I wonder if there's any food available in there. Cali Oaks, Randy Whitehouse, First Justin Pelletier. Lisbon. Ready to break Thanks, down Chris. the Class C <laughs> Class C football matchups this week and. First one, Winthrop visits Jay, and, and Winthrop uh, still rolling along here in the, in the conference, and Jay just kind of hanging on here Winthrop, in the conference. Winthrop rolling along, but I think Oak Hill and Livermore Falls have given the rest of the confer uh, conference some confidence that uh, they're not unbeatable. Certainly they are, are an attainable goal to at least hang in there with the Ramblers. Jay's got a little momentum the last couple of weeks, admittedly against some second-tier competition. Uh, they've gotten a couple of wins. Now they need to gain some confidence for what is probably going to be a playoff appearance for them uh, and, and play well, at least, against a, a good caliber opponent in Winthrop. Winthrop, I think, kind of adjusting. They got a couple of kids back in the offense, Eric Duplissy, uh, the, the key kid in that, in that equation, and trying to build that running game back and reestablish that uh, identity that they had early in the season. Trying to get some consistency in their passing game, too. I guess Travis Lewis really struggled in the last game. And that's a little bit of a source of frustration for Joel Stoughton. Uh, wouldn't be surprised if they try to get his rhythm going this week. Deergo at Moranicook. Uh, another big one in terms of positioning um, with, with these two teams. And uh, both teams got to feel that this is a winnable game. Uh, you know, we're getting into a stretch here where Deergo, Moranicook, Oak Hill, Livermore, teams like that are all facing each other. So uh, next few weeks are going to be some, some really big matchups in terms of playoffs and playoff positioning. Uh, Darigo coming off a, off a tough loss last week to Livermore Falls. Uh, defense really struggled against uh, Livermore's running game. Uh, offense had some flashes, scored their points in bunches, uh, but they're, they're looking for a little more consistency in the running game. They, they weren't able to, to get it going as, as well as they, they would have liked to against Livermore last week, and uh, not, not a lot easier against Moranico. And the four schools you just mentioned, Dirigo, Livermore, Oak Hill, Moranico, one of them is probably not going to make the playoffs, and this game may have a lot to say in, in who that is. The home team where we are right now, the Lisbon Greyhounds, they uh, make the long trip south to a, a surprisingly 4-1 and one Trape Rangers. 5-1. and one. Uh, Sorry, that's right. I'm, I'm <laughs> so surprising you get yeah, that. Absolutely. Right, no, seriously, like, when's the last time the trip was five and one? I mean, it's 1992. Not, it's not. It's not something that we're used to <laughs> yeah, saying. So yeah, most of the kids that are playing today weren't alive the last time that trip was good. <laughs> you know, let, let's be honest. That that could be a problem for the Lisbon Greyhounds because these kids don't ever know that Trape has ever been good, and and they go down there. Do they take them lightly? It's been a problem for Miranda Cook and Livermore making that long trip this year. I don't see it being a problem for Lisbon. I think if you look at uh, the one loss that Trape did have, it was a one-sided loss to Yarmouth. Lisbon has certainly shown that they're in that top echelon of teams in this league with Winthrop and Yarmouth. I, you know, but you, you do have to guard against it. It's just a long bus ride. You want to hope you leave as early as possible and get, get the cobwebs shaken out once you get down there in Kittery, you know, two miles north of the bridge. And, uh, you know, anything's possible. But Trape, Trape's obviously assured itself a playoff spot for the first time in, as we said, 18 years, and, and uh, yeah, good for them. I mean, I think it's a testament to their coach, Ron Ross, who's been there for 10 years now. They've got that continuity, and, and they've certainly built something after – he took over with one of the longest losing streaks, I think, in the history of the state when, back then. Okay, Randy, we go to uh, Livermore Falls. Who kill at Livermore Falls? Another one of those teams, those matchups that we just mentioned. That's a big one. Uh, that's for both teams. That's a very big one. It's huge, and uh, you know, Kill certainly has to have a, a, a boost of confidence going into this week, especially defensively, with the job that they did against Winthrop last week. Uh, the offense has been sputtering the last couple, last few weeks, and uh, you know. They like to do what Livermore likes to do. They like to grind it out uh, with three or four guys in the backfield. Livermore coming off a, off a great win against Dirigo last week. Uh, really racked up the yardage on the ground, but I think the most important thing was uh, got some confidence out of their defense as well. Uh, probably tackled as well as they have all year. Made some big stops when they had to, which is really the first time that they've really been able to do that this year. Uh, you know, this should probably be the fastest game on the schedule. I was going to say, now you're saying they're going to run, they're going to run, yeah. they're going to run. This yeah, should be over in an hour and 45 clock, minutes. Yeah, it's going to be a clock burning game. It's just going to be a matter of which defense can, can make the stops, especially in the red zone. Yeah, they're, they're the two mystery teams in the conference. They can beat or at least hang in with anyone in the top eight, and they can lose to anyone in the top nine or ten. And uh, somebody's going to give their playoff hopes a big boost on Saturday, and somebody's going to be uh, struggling next week to, to need to win a game to get in, I think. Thank you, Callie, Randy, for Tailgate Talk, Justin Pelletier. Have a wonderful afternoon, and we'll see you all this weekend.